Hello, my name is uh, Moises Rodriguez. We will be going and I will be going over a uh, P2P or peer to peer. So, P2P is a popular way of seeing the um, peer to peer written out on the internet. So, P2P stands for peer to peer. It's um, the most popular form of this, or, or in one of the other ways you may know it, is as a torrent or BitTorrent. So, what peer to peer is, is um, sharing files. Uh, it could be audio, video, programs, uh, books, whatever you can think of that is a file on your computer and sharing it with others. So, peer to peer sharing actually became popular in 1999 with the introduction of Napster. The way that peer to peer sharing works is you and a bunch of your other people online have a file it could be a program music file whatever it, you can think of someone wants to download that file so what they do is they'll find a tracker and all that is is just a fancy word for a cataloging version uh, a cataloging program so the tracker connects to the file on your computer and to the computers of a bunch of uh, other people who also have that file and starts to share it. And so when it downloads into the person who's downloading the file, it downloads in pieces. What the program does at the end is that it combines all, all those pieces into the actual file source, which was the original file that the person wanted to download. So, um, legality of peer-to-peer -peer sharing it's not illegal sometimes um i if i have a file that i created and i want to share it out with the world i can share it with whomever i please because it is copyrighted to me however it becomes illegal when you start sharing copyrighted materials and um Courts across America and across the world are actually shutting down BitTorrent sites and in some cases are actually suing the the users. So if I were to download a BitTorrent file for Adobe Photoshop or for the latest movie, Spider-Man movie that came out a few months ago, a few weeks ago, um, I could actually be sued for that. So here's one of the things to keep in, to keep in mind when you're in thinking about peer-to-peer -peer sharing um, and the reason why it's Ill illegal um, you actually don't own the software that you're downloading so that Adobe Acrobat um, program that we had to download uh, that we purchased uh, at the beginning of our program we actually didn't purchase the program we purchased a license to the program so it's just pretty much saying hey you can use this program under these certain circumstances so uh, right here you see a uh, uh, part of uh, Adobe's user end user license agreement and you see that it says that um, the terms of an end user license agreement accompany the particular software file upon installation or download so you're agreeing to this by downloading that and um, so if you don't agree with it don't download it and that's essentially what they're saying um, I know a lot of times we don't use, read those user agreements because uh, sometimes they can be uh, pages long, but it does behoove you to read. All right, so the dangers of peer-to-peer -peer sharing. For one, you're act giving something, a program, or someone else access to your computer. So if you're giving access to some uh, to your computer, you're opening up yourself to have the um, malware and, th and viruses installed into your computer. You may be doing something that's illegal. Again, we go back to the programs, website, um, movies, TV shows, all those things. Those are copyrighted to someone else. Um, so, again, going back to the Spider Man movie, that's copyrighted to Sony. So, if I'm sharing something that Sony created, I'm, I'm putting, making myself liable to a lawsuit and, and maybe even prison time. So here's just some of the more popular peer-to-peer uh, -peer websites. Um, ISO Hunt, Lime, Lime Torrents, 
Kick-Ass Torrens Torrent Project in the Pirate Bay. Just in case you're curious and you want to go take a look.